One athlete that I haven't made a video on in a very long time is the Ethiopian athlete Salomon Barega. Salomon Barega is one of the fastest Ethiopian runners in history and in today's cross country race we're going to be taking a look at some races that he ran against Hagos Gebrewet and Millington. Now this race start was phenomenally fast and it actually reminded me of some of the collegiate system starts in their races like the NCAA championships where they go off at such a crazy pace that I genuinely think that they aren't going to even be able to make it to the finish line. In this race we also had Yemen Kripa, you might notice him just there in the front positioned around about third place. Early days right now there's a big field, a lot of these uh, athletes that consist up most of this field are, are local runners local club runners all sub 33 minute 10k runners some top top standard here in this race but for me the highlight was between Salomon Brega and Hagos Gebruet however at the early stage of the race you can't even see him I'm gonna be honest uh, they seem to be tucked away kind of hidden I believe that finally Salomon has decided to work his way up here and he's decided to take things seriously We've got an early leader. This uh, early leader isn't being taken seriously by some of the others because you can tell that they are not going with him. In the lead currently, we have Gagililemet. Gagililemet. Apologize if I pronounce that wrong. Gagililemet went through the first lap in roughly three minutes. So we've got Millington of Great Britain taking over here with the lead of this race around four minutes in we're going to be going through the first mile in a minute up there you've got Yemen Kripa we don't see any signs of Solomon Berega just yet you've also got Hagos Gebrewet of Ethiopia Gebrewet an athlete who most of you will know about but I have to say that Gebrewet is one of the really clever tactical races out of all the runners that I have seen in my life of watching this sport on the left here, you can see the start list for this race. We have uh, Gebruet, we have Salomon Brega. I believe it even said something about Zane Robertson in here. So interesting uh, start to this race. It is fast, I must admit. You can tell it's fast because they are all strung out in a line. Millington is trying to do his best to break this group. Obviously, I think he knows that in his mind he's not fast enough to break the likes of Salomon Berega, maybe even Yemen Kripa. However, if he can break the other athletes behind them, it gives him a better shot of making the top three. And to be totally honest with you, Millington has actually done a lot of damage to this lead group. Fast forward to five and a half minutes in, Salomon Berega has decided to take the lead. He has a very clean running form, it's very smooth, his legs are bouncy and his arms are very compact. He's got limited range of motion in his arms uh, by choice probably because that's just how he runs. Uh, a lot of his movement comes from his legs and his upper body is extremely stable. Now I don't know why he is currently grimacing. He's only 5 minutes into a 10, you know, 10 and a half, 11k race. So it's a bit confusing. Maybe he has a bit of an injury or a flare up of uh, some inflammation. But right now he's got to try and stay calm. I don't want him looking like that for very much longer. Otherwise there's going to be a bit of a worry. If he's in that much pain and he's only six minutes in. Then he's going to have to reconsider this uh, surge that he is currently putting in. Chemitai of Kenya is up there. We also have Hagos Gebruet moving up behind Salomon Berega, taking him way more seriously at this point in the race as we're now approaching the first three kilometers. Something has to happen at this point. One of these athletes is going to drop off. I think the Spaniard is going to drop off at the back here. Millington looks strong. He's still there. He's around fourth place. He looks comfortable. He looks capable, but I don't see him surging again against the likes of Berega or Hagos Gebruet. These guys are the favorites for the race, and it's really up to them to put a move in now. As you can see already, Salomon Berega is keeping the pace honest. He's actually dropping the rest of those guys, the Spaniard, the Italian. Millington's managed to stay with them with Chemitai and Hagos Gebruet, but let's see how much longer he can actually stay with them because there's a chance that Salomon is going to keep pouring this pace on 
and I feel like in the back of his mind, he knows that he's got control of this. His worry needs to be Hagos Gebrewet. They have similar times in the five and 10,000 meters. Both Hagos and Salomon are from Ethiopia and they are also very, very fast athletes. Next, Salomon needs to worry about Kripper right behind him. He is another high standard athlete who is very good at cross country and 10K races, but I don't believe he is that big of a threat to Salomon Berega, so it shouldn't be an issue with Berega dropping him in the next four or five kilometers. This group is a bit too big for my liking. Right now, it shows that Chemutai and Salomon Berega aren't really pushing hard enough. That's why I believe a lot of these guys are still with them. We're going to be approaching 11 and a half minutes now, and I'm starting to watch Salomon Berega getting a little bit restless. He is waiting for someone else to take the lead right now. He isn't pouring that pace on as hard as he should be, in my opinion. He's got way more left to give, but at this point in the race, he doesn't really care. I think he just feels comfortable. Maybe he'll get to 20 minutes and then he'll decide to put his foot down. That might be his decision and the best course of action to drop a few other runners off the back. Hagos Gebruet is just jogging at this point. He's a guy in third in a orange vest. He really, really, he has even less of a range of motion than Salomon Berega, which goes to show that he's not really trying at all. Here we go for the second lap coming through in 12.07. Decent running here. Chematai now taking the lead. We have uh, Hagos Gebaret in second. Salomon Brega and Millington joint third. And uh, I, Cripper is around fourth or fifth. So the running now is changing hands. Millington's moving up here. We've got some aggressive running from Chemutai, although he is looking over his shoulder here thinking, is anyone else going to take the pace on? Are we going to see a new leader? As we keep going into this race, we don't have much longer left. I think we've just gone over the 5k mark, or we are just about to hit it. Unfortunately, we're cross country. They don't have that distance mapped out. It's kind of hard. You just have to really guess it based on what their lap distance is. I believe that one lap of this course is roughly around 1.4 to 1.5 kilometers. This would suggest that they have just achieved over 5k or around 5k at the third lap or kind of halfway through the third lap so they would have gone through 5k by my my estimates of around 1450 to 1455 during this race salomon berega hasn't really taken the lead much early on i think that he has the potential to now put a very aggressive kick in we're coming around for the fourth lap here and he's doing just that Melingdon getting dropped look at this this is so subtle guys you know when i say a subtle increase in pace well yeah this is it because we're seeing Melingdon getting dropped we're seeing the others getting dropped and they can't respond the only athletes who are able to respond to this are yemen kripa chemitai and gebrewet so it's interesting but now that salomon's done that Again, he has dropped back and Chematai taking that default position in the lead again. So I look at Yemen Kripa and he looks comfortable. Salomon Berega looks like he is really, really struggling here. I think the problem is, is the others aren't doing any work. They're just kind of allowing the pace to be as it is. Um, the only person putting in those surges right now is Yemen Kripa. So, Yemen Kripa and Salomon Berega are the ones that were doing all the work. Yemen was doing a lot of the work at the beginning, you know, which we kind of missed early on. So, not not really, uh, really uh, satisfied with how this race is going right now. Here are some of the past times that winners have run and what they have, what and what their names are. Mukta Edris, Eli Kipchoge won in 2009. So, this is a race that's been going for many, many years. And uh, I think Mukhtar Edris is uh, one of my favorite wins of this course. I loved watching his race back in uh, many years ago because the way he runs is just so exciting. It's so fun to watch. So Chemitai is putting his foot down. Look at this. Finally, someone else is making a lead. Someone else is putting in a healthy lead. And it looks to me like it's doing some damage. 21 minutes, fourth lap. They've only got one large lap remaining. Millington is three seconds away. That's not too bad, actually. I, I, to be honest, if it looks way larger than three seconds, but because of the speed they're running, maybe it really is only three seconds. But right now, you have 
Chimatai putting that piece on. He's kind of dropping Barega, which is a real, real surprise. We've got Miyushi of Italy also hanging on here, doing a great job. For the majority of this race, he has been with the leaders. Uh, over the last 3k or 2k though, he's lost contention. And it's a race that for him has been a never-ending battle of playing catch-up against these elite runners in the lead. Yemen Kripa looking like he's starting to struggle as well. He's paying the price for holding with this lead group during the surges. They've still got a long way to go, don't forget. A whole one and a bit K is still a long way. That's around three, three and a bit laps of a track. So they got to keep themselves calm and collected. Right now, they have to do everything they can. It's turning into a one, two and three Chematai. Then we have Gebrewet. Then we have Solomon Barrega. Who is going to win this race? Well, not long left now, guys. There really isn't long left until this finish. Comment down below your predictions of who you think is going to win this race. Yemen Kripa is trying to hold on to these leaders, but unfortunately they can't. They can't do it, you know. We've got Mushi and Yemen Kripa trying the hardest to get on this group. Mushi is nowhere to be seen though. He's a long, long way back, over 100 meters I'd say. Yemen's more in contention, but it's really, it, it, it's Kip Chumba and Chemutai who are making all of these moves here. Baraga, zero seconds behind. Gebrewet locked in, zero seconds behind in that third position spot. The question remains, who is going to make this move? I think the Salomon Barrega initially was struggling, but maybe it's all just games. It could just be, oh, that is an issue. Salomon Barrega getting a bit, getting amongst a bit of confusion there with uh, one of the runners and uh, the runners he's lapping. Got to be careful there because the others went on the left and uh, he decided to go on the right. So the runner was just running out and uh, he got very, very confused. 25 minutes, 45 seconds on the clock. Salomon Barrega is chasing Chemotai of Uganda. I apologize earlier, I said he was from Kenya. There is also a Chemotai of Kenya and I actually got confused because he looks similar to him. Yemen Kripa are really digging deep now. You can see the face uh, pulling expressions. One thing I always saw, Yemen Kripa just reminds me of Will Smith's son. I don't know what it is, he looks very similar to me. Uh, and I thought it was kind of uh, something I'd just point out. It's an observation in my opinion. So I was wondering what you guys thought of that. Yeah, I mean, Kripa actually looks like Will Smith's son. Uh, is it Jaden or... Yeah, I think it's Jay or Jaden. But yeah, this is a real exciting race now. Here we go. Gebrewet has made his move. He's only around 800 meters from the finish. He's made a very aggressive move. Look at this. He's dropped Solomon Barrega. He's dropped Chemotai. And he's really just pulling away at this point. I covered this race recently with a couple of athletes and uh, you know that they used the bends to their advantage. They used them as a way to pull away from each other and try and get out of trouble. This means that they are using the bends as a way to confuse the athletes because by the time you've turned the bend, you look up ahead and you think, oh no, the leader's miles away. I'm never going to catch him. Salomon Barrega is trying to give chase but I don't know if it's going to work because this is the last lap and unfortunately he may have left it way too late. Salomon Berger does have a very, very good kick. They've come through and their last lap split 26-34. Not much longer remaining now. Gebrewet just needs to hold it together and try everything he can in order to stay away from Salomon Berger and also stay away from Chemutai. I think that Gebrewet is going to win this race based on just how he looks. He's a very strong runner. He's even beaten the likes of Jakob Ingebrigtsen over the last 200 meters of a track race. So that alone should show you how fast he really is. He's an athlete that is not going to take any prisoners. He will kick early on and if he does, he isn't going to look back. This guy is showing signs of real, real determination. And um, when we watched Jacob Kiblimo run this course, he ran in a rather different fashion to Gebrewet. Gebrewet now is only around one lap from the finish, one lap of a track I mean, not of the cross country course. He's coming in now, he can literally see the finish, the crowds are building up, he's just got to go up, then turn to the left, 
lapping a couple more people right now before he comes in for the win. Salomon Berega, who I thought was actually gaining on him, isn't. Salomon Berega is actually just falling back at this point. The distance is uh, increasing. It was initially 5 to 15 meters. It is now around 25 to 35 meters. Having said that, look at Salomon. He's got his arms open. His palms are open. He's pumping his arms and legs. He's no longer got that limited range of motion. He is really kicking. <laughs> this is crazy. Gebruet has just got days. He's got days and days. He can slow down. He can take in the wind. He can enjoy it. Smell the flowers. 29-18 unofficial. Great running. But uh, Solomon Brega is not too far behind, I must say. Uh, really, really good running. Chemitai of Uganda as well. Phenomenal running. All in all, a great race. You know, I haven't actually made a video on Solomon Brega in a long time. And um, I wanted to go over. He's actually been racing quite a lot for the Paris Olympics. He's raced 1,500 meters, 3,000 meters, 5,000 meters. And these are the results I found on his IAAF page. He's raced at the... Uh, the um, World Athletics Indoor Championships in Glasgow. He ran a 3,000 meters in 7.43 where he finished third in the final. He's also run a 7.31 and a very fast time of 7.25. He's ran a 12.51 5,000 meter. So he's in pretty good shape. That was at the Los Angeles Grand Prix. Very good running. And he's also ran a 337 1,500 meter in France. So He's got potential to have a good kick at Paris Olympics and I believe that his chosen race is going to be the 5,000 meters. So that's going to be very, very interesting. I believe that uh, Yomu Kujelcha or Joshua Cheptegei and Aragawe will be in this race. If you want to watch that race and you want to see my reaction, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. It's only in a couple of months time and I'll be covering that here on this channel. So here are the PBs, or the PRs, as the Americans would say, of Salomon Berega. Very fast all-round times, 12.43 5K. He has a 26.44 10K. Half marathon, 57.50. That was at the Valencia half marathon. I mean, he's a really, really top-class runner, and I look forward to seeing him at the Paris Olympics. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching today's video. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and leave a like on today's video to show your support for the channel. I'm the runner and I cover all the latest running news, the latest races, the latest athlete drama, etc. Take a look at some of my other videos I've made. I upload every day on this channel, try and bring you guys the best content I can. Thank you so much and I'll catch you in tomorrow's upload.